Yeah, hi guys. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick reaction video to, uh, to a news article that I saw on StarWars.com uh, talking about that Michael Kenneth Williams is joining the young, oh, a, young, a young Han Solo uh, film. What's wrong with my language today? Uh, but uh, I, I have to be honest. Um, uh, uh, first of all, I uh, I didn't catch on the dude's name uh, for a long while. I was like, who, who the heck is he? And then I checked his uh, credits on uh, uh, the Internet Movie Database, and I realized that he's been on uh, movies that I haven't watched and really don't like. Uh, so that's why I didn't know him. He's been... Um, I, uh, in uh, the movie called 12 Years a Slave and then he's also been um, in uh, the re um, new version of Robocop which uh, which I tried to watch but uh, couldn't it was in my mind it was a horrible 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 movie um, uh, so there that's why I didn't recognize him at first uh, but that's uh, that aside, he might be a good addition uh, to the cast. Um, um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, but here's the statement from StarWars.com. Uh, it reads: Michael Kenneth Williams joins young Han Solo uh, film. The gifted TV and film actor officially signs for the highly uh, anticipated film. Michael Kenneth Williams is going uh, going from his hometown town of Brooklyn, New York, to a galaxy far, far away. Nicely said, by the way. Star Wars, there. Uh, kudos to your um, PR um, uh, PR office. Uh, StarWars.com is thrilled to announce that Williams has officially signed on for the upcoming untitled Han Solo Star Wars movie. Uh, Williams comes to Star Wars having played many memorable roles in both TV and film, including Omar Little in The Wire and Albert Chalky White in Broadwalk Empire, bringing uh, charisma, humanity and nobility to all his performances. Uh, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller are directing uh, the un uh, untitled Han Solo uh, Star Wars movie from a script by Lawrence and John Kasdan with cast that includes Alden, Alden, Alden Ehrenreich uh, as Han Solo, Woody Harrelson, Emilia Clarke, Donald Clover as Lando Calrissian, Dandy Newton and Phoebe Waller-Bridge with Jonas uh, Suotamo as Chewbacca. And on Jonas Suotamo, I have to say that I'm very proud of uh, him because I'm, I'm from Finland. So anytime a Finnish guy gets uh, gets to the world stage to perform in movies, I'm always very happy. Kudos to Jonas for that. The article continues. The movie will uh, be produced by Kathleen Kennedy, Alison uh, Shimor, uh, Simon M. M, M Emmanuel and co-produced by Kiri Hartz, Susan Towner and Will Allegra, Lawrence Kasdan and Jason um, McGettin, uh, or uh, Gettin, I think, will executive uh, produce. The untitled Han Solo movie, uh, set prior to the events of original Star Wars trilogy, is slated for release on May 26, 2018. Uh, yeah, um, couple of points in there. First of all, I will uh, post the article in its entirety uh, to the description box of this video, as always. Uh, so, couple of points. Um, first of all, I thought that the movie was already in production, being filmed, so it's very odd that they would uh, bring in uh this uh this huge of a name uh this late in the process um i think there is two possibilities and i hope that it's possibility b uh, that is the more truthful here i hope i'm wrong but uh, i hope uh, because i think it's uh uh possibility a 
uh, but I hope it's B. But uh, let's go to the A possibility first. Uh, I think I think they just wanted to uh, bring uh, uh, like more gravitas to the picture. Maybe they realized that they don't have uh, have uh, like. I think they might actually have too young a cast here. I'm not sure about um, uh, uh, Mr. Ke Kenneth Williams' age, but um, and it also might be uh, that they are worried about uh, is the script good, although it's been penned by uh, Caston, so I'm pretty sure that it's good, but. As I, as I said, uh, bringing somebody of, the, of this caliber into the project so late and and uh, they they already uh, like uh, published um, start of production uh, uh, picture was it last week? So uh, I don't know. Maybe my uh, maybe maybe um, Kenneth William Williams has been. Uh, on, on board for the production for uh, longer uh, than it's been let on, but there's something in my mind there might be uh, something fishy that they just decided that we need an additional character to maybe bring a additional plot point. I don't know. Um, so yeah, and then the, the then the B part is that. What I would hope is is happening is that they just wanted to boast their um, cast members a bit um, with a big name. Although I'm I'm pretty happy with the uh, cast as it is as it is, as it was before even this announcement. I'm especially happy for a couple of reasons. Because um, uh, Alden Ehrenreich will play young Han Solo. Um, I saw this dude uh, in um, uh, Hail Caesar, and I know that I'm in a complete minority when it comes to that uh, picture. Uh, but uh, but I think that uh, Hail Caesar was an excellent, excellent picture. And uh, I like Elden Wright's uh, performance in it, in it as a cowboy and as a uh, let's say re reluctant, a reluctant uh, gentleman. Very much his his performance was very good, and uh, he he gave the movie energy that it required. Uh, and. Uh, Then there is um, Woody Harrelson, which I have always liked in his movies, but especially I'm happy for Emilia Clarke's addition to this project because Emilia Clarke uh, 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 has been my favorite actre actress for a little while, and I really mean it for a little while, because I don't like her in um, Game of Thrones. At all, I think uh, Game of Thrones isn't for me, and her performance isn't for me in that uh, that uh, at all. But there's this one um, movie that I will now check uh, from uh, called 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 Me Before You, which uh, was absolutely fantastic. It was. Absolutely fantastic uh, performance by her, and I I I fell in love with her uh, her performance on that uh, picture because it's about a guy in a wheelchair which is very close to my heart because I happen to also see him in a wheelchair. So uh, he's he's uh, like uh, the way he goes through lives and uh, goes through life and the way. The character played by Emily, Emilia Clarke is his assistant in that, so it, it's very close to my heart. That little movie, but uh, uh, but I'm not a big Game of Thrones fan, so 
um, I wasn't a big fan of hers before I saw Me Before You, so, uh, so, and, um, but the, the thing I'm, uh, I'm a little worried about with this, um, uh, uh, young Han Solo movie is that I thought that after uh, the last uh, or first uh, standalone movie, um, Rogue One, which by the way wasn't a standalone movie at all, but uh, if they want to call that a call, if that that's fine. But after that, I had I I felt that they have and they had a um, fantastic chance uh, to kind of um, like widen the Star Wars universe but for some reason they still can't and they still don't want to do that and that's fine that's they can do that it's their baby it's their movie they can do whatever I will still go and watch it the first night it's available but but still um, I would be I would have been more happy uh, with uh, Knights of the Old Republic kind of a movie than uh, this young Han Solo movie because I, I, I'm of the opinion that it's nice and it's nice to have some mystery surrounding a character and I think that um, Han Solo is a great character for that purpose because we don't need to know any uh, we don't need to know everything about him we just need to know what's in movies right now he's a perfect character played by um, uh, Harrison Ford, and I'm I'm scared that uh, him being played by somebody else uh, might actually put people off uh, the movie bad, uh, and I'm I'm afraid that uh, I don't know. But although the although Alden El Ellen Reich is a, a, a fantastic actor, I'm sure, but for me it's. Uh, I don't know. It's it's very hard to think of Han Solo being played by anybody else than uh, Harrison Ford. So the movie has a big fence to climb on that subject. So hopefully they will pull it off, and I'll I'll be the first one to say that I'm I was right. I was wrong if if they pull it off. But uh, now that uh, now I'm not so sure can they. But uh, give it give it a go. But I would hope that um, Lucasfilm and Disney would, uh, for the next uh, movie, um, for the next standalone movie, they would go on a completely different route. They would uh, have 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 the imagination to maybe take the story to a place or planet or world that we haven't heard anything about in the Star Wars canon. So that would be nice, um, but uh, but yeah, that's about about what I have to say. Uh, just to summarize, I'm still a, a bit surprised that they would bring uh, somebody in to the picture uh, when they have already started filming. So uh, I hope it's not it's not to replace anybody or anything like that. I hope it's just a great addition to the cast. And good luck uh, on your journey into the galaxy far, far away, Mr. Michael Kenneth Williams. And uh, to my viewers and subscribers, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. That, w uh, that uh, would help me immensely. And uh, uh, like, dislike, comment. Let's have a discussion about all subjects uh, concerning movies. Um, have a good night, morning or day, whenever you're watching this, wherever you are watching this. Uh, I'll be back to you soon. So, thank you. Bye-bye.